from the station that's in your corner. You're watching Fox 4 News at 6. Four is in your corner tonight, working to get the concerns addressed for a Cape Coral widow. She has been struggling for a while. Thanks for staying with us for local coverage at 630. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. So one year later, she's still struggling to honor his legacy the way that they had always planned. Fox 4's Leslie Dulles Bohr working to get her concerns addressed. Lorenzo Salisbury was the most wonderful person that God has placed in my path. Rose Salisbury says her husband Lorenzo of 30 years was her everything. We are the only two people that we know here. So everybody that was at his funeral came from somewhere else to honor my husband. He was such a wonderful, wonderful person. But January 5th, 2020, she lost her world. I found out that he died from septic shock once I received the death certificate because I never knew exactly what was wrong with him. It just took days for me to realize what was going on and I was like, my husband can't live like this. And um, I was so selfish. I wanted to do everything to keep him. After his death, Rose wanted to make sure her husband was laid to rest with the dignity and honor he deserved. It was very, very important to me that when he passed, that his services and everything regarding his going to his final resting place would be appropriate the way that it should be. But it wasn't. Rose says the emblem seen here in this photo is too large for his headstone, and she's been working to get the right one placed on his grave since January 8th, 2020. And now it doesn't, it's too large, so they had to reorder a small one. That was in October. In December, I asked about the emblem. It's not back. January, I asked about the emblem. It's not back. I am absolutely sick and tired of dealing with these people about this emblem being on my husband's marker. And today we came here to the Memorial Gardens to get answers for Salisbury. After speaking with the general manager, he tells me in a statement, we are aware of the circumstances surrounding the USAF emblem. We reached out to our supplier and have been advised the emblem is anticipated to be delivered by the end of the week. Once the emblem arrives, we shall coordinate the installation with the family and have it installed as quickly as possible. We regret any inconvenience or misunderstanding that may have occurred as a result of the delay in receiving this emblem. Although a piece of her life is now gone, Salisbury says she just wants his legacy honored as it should be. Master Sergeant Lorenzo F. Salisbury was an absolute leader, and I need to have that represented on his marker. I need to have the United States Air Force emblem on that marker the way I planned it on January 8th, 2020. In Fort Myers, Leslie Dellisbor, Fox 4 News. And Leslie will stay on this and follow up. In the meantime, if you need four in your corner to get your concerns addressed, you can send us an email at news at Fox 4 now or look for us on Facebook, Fox 4 Fort Myers.